So as you guys can see, I did complete one eye off of camera just because I feel like it's easier just to focus on one eye when I'm actually recording, showing you guys the look and how to do it step by step. So if you like that I'm doing one eye off camera and then doing the other eye and pretty much just like making it come together, then just let me know down below. So today's video is the first fall makeup tutorial. Can we just talk about how fall is already here? Like, where the hell did even, like, August go? I don't know. I'm going to ask you guys because I have no idea. Today's tutorial is a very brown, burgundy, smoky eye. It's really, like, sultry. It's sexy. You can wear this pretty much anywhere. You can wear it going out to dinner with your boo thing. You can wear it out with your girlfriends. Or you can just wear it... recording this is so funny I got new setting powders yeah because they were on sale and I was like hell yeah oh and I got a new blush I forgot I ordered this all right so back to the tutorial I get so excited when I get packages I can't help it but anyways so yeah this is just a very smoky fall look since fall is pretty much already here so Let's start doing fall tutorials. I am using the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. You guys know I love this palette. It has literally every single color I needed for this look. Like, how can you not love this palette? So yeah, I wanna know if um, you guys have this palette. So let me know down below if you guys have this palette or you guys are waiting for her to restock it so you can pick it up. Let me know, cause you know, I just wanna know start off with our transition I'm gonna be going in with this shade right here and also I will link below all of the brushes that I used and all of my face makeup that I used for the day but anyway so I'm just gonna run this in my crease and really up high towards my brow because I really really want it to be smoky and just look really I don't know just really deep honestly I'm pretty much just following my eyebrow arch just to make it look more natural and not choppy. The next shade that I'm going to be dipping into is this shade right here. And then I'm taking this on a little more dense fluffy brush, how it's like wider on this side and then it's skinnier if you turn it. This will help with blending a lot. Then I'm going in with a flat shader brush like this. It's very flat, dense. Or on the lid, I'm going in with this chocolate right here. So with this color, I really coat my brush a lot. And I go in short little strokes to make sure that it's completely opaque and completely even across my whole eye. I start at the um, lash line and then I work my way up. And then I take that same brush that I went in with like the red color and blend out this edge. And then you can see there's like little spots on my lid that lost the pigment. So I'm gonna go back in with that brown and that flat brush and just go over them again just to make sure that everything is even. And then I'm going in with that first brush that we used and just blending out everything on the top just to make it look more seamless. Fix this little like wing type of eyeshadow thing we're going for. So now I'm going in with a black eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner. And this I'm just running on my lower waterline. I did drag it down a little bit just to create that more smoky effect that I did on this eye. So now I'm going in with a dense little like short brush and I'm going in with that brown shade that we used. And it's right here. 
So I'm going to coat my brush in this, tap off the excess, and then take my finger and just really run it along that lower waterline. So now all I did was add false lashes. I'm using the Ardell Wispies, like always. And I'm going to go apply those real quick because it takes me forever. Okay, so this is what the completed look looks like. Um, I just added some highlight and applied lashes. I'm applying the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade 951. It's a really pretty like nude, but it's a darker nude, so it kind of matches the transition shade. You see what I did there? And this is the completed makeup look. Um, I think this look is literally perfect for fall or pretty much perfect for whenever you want to wear a like smoky eye like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Um, I am doing a giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. So once we reach that, I will upload the video about the rules for the giveaway. If you guys recreate this look, definitely don't forget to tag me in your looks. I love to see them. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.